The clock says 12 is the start of the fourth quarter. Taos is up 33 to 13 over Raton, but Raton just scoring on a long bomb. They've tried it over and over again tonight where they just lob the ball deep down the field and try to get a catch. They ended up getting credit for a catch in the end zone and a touchdown. Their extra point failed, but their onside kick attempt was good, and they got the ball in Taos territory. It is now third down and 10. The chain gang working on the far side of the field, switching sides of the field. Raton will now be going left to right across your radio dial. Taos will turn around and go right to left. The ball is spotted at the Taos 27, between the 27 and 28 yard line. It will be third down and 10. I know, okay, bye. Raton now coming to the line of scrimmage. They're ready to go. They've got trips to the left, one on the right side, which is the short side of the field as the ball is spotted on the right-hand hash mark. Shotgun for the quarterback, one man over his left shoulder directly beside him. Here's the snap. Straight drop back, looking to his left side now. Fires the ball over the middle, in and out of the hands of a Taos player. That looks like Larry Martinez had his hands up and on the ball and dropped it as it was just, it was intended to be thrown beyond him, and so that ball was smoking as it went by, and he just couldn't hang on. So an incomplete pass will bring up fourth down and 10 for Raton. They're not even thinking about going to the sideline after just scoring and playing a little bit of hurry up ball. They want to try to go for it here on fourth down in Taos territory. They're going to stay with trips to the left. One man wide on the right shotgun again. One man with the quarterback in front of him on the left hand side. Here comes the snap. Drop back, looking to his left side. He's going to get hit and knocked down. Another sack. That's the third time Taos has got him on a fourth down play sack of the quarterback. And you hear the crowd roar. The quarterback spiked the ball. He was upset after getting sacked on fourth down there. He spiked the ball. That should have been a penalty, but no flag has come out from the officials. And the teams will switch personnel, and the Taos offense will take the field again. So the onside kick doing no damage. Of course, Raton fumbling the ball deep in their own territory. Taos had it at the Raton 16 and could not do anything with it. This time, the onside kick recovery, which is essentially like a turnover for Taos, also not costing Taos. First and 10 for the Tigers. The nose of the ball touching the 35-yard line, essentially in the middle of the field. One man split on each side. Eye formation for the Tigers. The Taos Tigers, since both teams are Tigers tonight. Fullback and a halfback. Long snap count, straight drop back. McCarty wants to throw the ball. He throws the ball. It's going to be in and out of the hands of Devin Ortega. That ball was not thrown very hard. It floated a little bit and was almost intercepted by Raton. They saw that ball coming and had a chance to intercept it. Devin Ortega there may have actually knocked that ball down trying to save an interception. However, that was the play that went 70 yards in the first half going the same direction as the defender for Raton slipped and fell down as the ball was thrown. Devin Ortega went 70 yards for a touchdown. So that was the same play. This time the defender on top of it. Same formation for Taos, second down and 10. Hand off to Isaac Gonzalez right up the middle. He's going to get short yardage over the right side, and that's about it. It'll be third down and long for Taos. Let's see where they spot this in terms of forward progress. Uh, they're going to put it about the 38-yard line, somewhere between the 37 and 38. Bring up third down and long, third down and seven for Taos. 11 minutes, 22 seconds in the game and counting. If you're just tuning in, it's 33-13, Taos up and with the ball here in the fourth quarter. Eye formation, one man on each side, quarterback's under center for Taos. Here's a snap, handoff to Fulton. No, it's going to be a pitch back to Isaac, trying to get him space, but Raton's got this sniffed out. They're going to get him and take him down for a loss. They faked a handoff to the fullback going to the right-hand side, and Isaac Gonzalez, the tailback, who's behind the fullback, ran to the left side. So they faked it going to the right side, then the quarterback turned around and pitched it to Isaac, hoping to create a little space there. But Raton, with tremendous discipline there, staying on the backside, saw it coming and actually was able to get Isaac in the backfield for a short loss. It'll be fourth down and 10. Taos in punt formation with the ball spotted at their own 35. A little bit of a high snap, but the punter gets it. It's actually a nice kick, high. It's going to be fair caught and muff fair caught. He actually catches the ball on his way down at his own 38-yard line. That was a close call there. He called for fair catch, but actually bobbled it and dropped it as he was going to the ground. Taos jumped on top of him, but he was able to recover it. So it'll be first down and 10 for Raton at their own 39-yard line. The ball spotted at the right-hand hash mark. They're going left to right, so the left side is the wide side of the field. They'll send two wide receivers on each side to start. Quarterbacks in shotgun formation, one man on his right side. 
They've been motioning out of this all night, and they will do that again. They're going to motion over to the left side to put three men on the wide side. Here's the snap, fake to the right, screen pass to the left-hand side. Taos has seen this all night. He breaks a tackle, is now going to get to the outside. Jonathan Corbett is going to ride him out of bounds after a first down, about a 12-yard gain. Once again, Taos has seen that over and over tonight. They had the defenders there, but just didn't make the first tackle. The first man that had the opportunity to make the tackle didn't get the job done. That allowed the receiver to get extra yardage and a first down into Taos territory for Raton. Ball spotted at the Taos 47-yard line on the left-hand hash mark. So from the side? Ten minutes, ten seconds on the clock and ticking. Two men on each side of the field. Now they've got trips to the left, which is the short side of the field. The quarterback is by himself in the backfield. Here comes Taos. He throws the ball on the right-hand side. He's got a man open and drops the ball. That was number 32. He's the only man split over here on the right-hand side, and he sort of did a quick hitch pattern. The ball was there, hit him in the hands, and he simply dropped it. Incomplete, every second down and 10. Clock stopped at 9.58 on the incompletion. Gives Raton a chance to take a good look over at their coaches on the sideline and get their signals. Now they're looking at their wristbands. They're going to send three men over to the wide side of the field. That's trips to the right. One man split to the left. One man's with the quarterback just in front of him a little bit on his left-hand side. Here's the snap. They throw a quick screen pass over on the right-hand side into the flat. Taos misses the first tackle again. He's able to gain first down yardage, 10 or maybe 11 yards on that play as Taos just not quite able to pick up that screen pass as soon as he catches the ball. They will move the chains. It's a first down. Barely, maybe just, just 10 yards, but that's up to the Taos 37-yard line. Between the 36 and the 37, enough for a first down. Ratone shows up, trips to the left, one on the right-hand side. One man with the quarterback on his left side. Here's the snap, rolling to his left, wanting to throw, being chased from behind. Now heaves the ball deep again down the right-hand side. And it's going to be called incomplete. Hard to see on the far side what happened there. Devin Ortega, one-on-one -on -one coverage back there, and they just heave the ball, lob it up there, hoping that that Caleb Wood, that's number 22, he's 6'1", 165, a senior. What they're doing is they just throw it really high and hope that he can outleap whoever's defending him in coverage down there. That time it doesn't work and brings up second down and 10. They've tried that about six times tonight. It's worked one time, and it counted for a touchdown. Trips to the left, the wide side of the field. One man on the short side, one man back with the quarterback. Now a man goes back in motion to the right-hand side. They're going to fake to him, and the quarterback's going to keep right up the middle. He's going to get wrapped up and taken down. That's Marshall Cummings. Gets him right at the line of scrimmage and spins him around, bear hugs him around the waist, spins him around, and takes him down for no gain on that play. So they sort of fake like an end around. They had three wide receivers to the left side. One of them went in motion. They snapped the ball as he was coming by and acted like they're going to hand it off to him, you know, with a head of steam. And then the quarterback keeps it and just runs right up the middle. But Marshall Cummings playing in the middle of the line there, able to catch him. Three men split to the left again. Here's a quick snap. Looking, looking, looking now. Taos forcing the quarterback and They're going to get him from behind and take him down for a sack. Back behind the 40-yard line at the 42-yard line. Another sack for the Taos defense. I was mentioning that they hadn't really made many sacks, but they'd been kind of in the backfield all night. That time they get him. They've had some big sacks on fourth down to get the ball away from Raton. That time on third down, a sack all the way back to the 42-yard line. It'll be fourth down and about 17. Two on each side, one man back with the quarterback. Taos showing blitz. And again, they looks like they jump a little too close when they show blitz, and they are going to get called for the offside. All you got to do is step into the neutral zone, and that's it in New Mexico football. That's a five-yard penalty from fourth down and 17, and it'll be fourth down and 12. And actually, from their spotting, it's going to be more like fourth down and 11. Ball not quite touching the 37-yard line on the left-hand hash mark in Taos territory. <laughs> Off. Looks like a little equipment problem is Caleb Wood, the receiver that they've been sending deep is having is being sent over the sideline. Looks like he may have a problem with his shoulder pads, maybe a strap has come loose or something. He was showing it to the official, but they're gonna make him go to the sideline. Now he's gonna go back to they look like they have a toolbox on the far side, as most of the training staffs do to try to fix a little equipment problem. Fourth down and eleven here. Tau showing blitz again. Raton trying to force him to draw offsides, hard count. Quarterback actually moving his hands and kind of jumping a little bit, but cannot draw Taos offsides twice in a row. And they'll take a timeout because they got to talk about this fourth down and 11 with eight minutes and 19 seconds left to go in the game. We'll take a timeout as well in your new home for Taos Tiger football, 95-9, the Mountain. 
Welcome back to the new home for Taos Tiger football. It's 95-9 the Mountain, 8-19 left to play in the game. Taos up 33-13, but Raton has the ball in Taos territory at the 37-yard line, fourth down and 11. Thanks for all our comments on the Twitter sphere tonight. Got some from Taos Off-Road saying kudos to that Taos Tiger defense. Let's see what they can do here on fourth down and 11. Trips to the right. Here's the snap. Straight drop back for the quarterback. He's looking, looking, looking. He's going to get hit in the backfield. He pulls out of it. Now just heaves the ball as hard as he can down the field. It's a jump ball and incomplete near the goal line. How did he get away from that sack? He had a man in his face, grab him and, and almost take him down. Somehow he stepped out of it and had his arm free enough to just sling it as far as he could. But that was fourth down and 11, and that's an incomplete pass. Taos will take over on downs again. And just as I was saying from the Twitter sphere, so to speak, the social media saying kudos to that Taos Tiger defense, right on cue they take the ball away from the Raton Tigers again. Next comment on that little Twitter feed there was saying these Tigers score like those Peyton Manning led Broncos. Well, let's see if they can do a little Bronco magic here and score like they do and get another few points on the board here. Eight minutes and ten seconds left to play in the game. 33 to 13. Taos now with the ball at their own 37 yard line. One man split to the left, one man split to the right. Eye formation for Taos. Here's the snap, handoff right up the middle to the tailback. That's Isaac Gonzalez. Now he gets out to the outside just a little bit. He's going to have short yardage, maybe to the 40-yard line. Gain of three, maybe four on that play. Kevin McCarty ended up on his back in the backfield on that play. He's talking to the, the referee just a little bit. I'm not sure what happened there. I don't think anybody hit him. He may have just tripped, but there was some discussion with the referee. Taos now huddled up. It'll be second down and seven officially. The ball just on the far side of the 40-yard line, not quite to the 41-yard line. Second down and seven. They'll split one man on each side of the field. They've got a wing off the left tight end and one man in the backfield. Here's a snap. It's a pitch to Gonzalez coming to the near side of the field. He gets a good block. Gets out of an ankle tackle now. Olay is another man and gets past the 45-yard line. Does not get far enough for a first down, it looks like. It'll bring up third down and short for Taos. Seeing a little bit of tempers fly there. Something happened there with Isaac at the end of that play that he didn't like. Somebody on the ground either... Uh, Usually I don't think saying something would elicit that kind of response from uh, from a Taos player, the, the way their demeanor has been this year. But maybe they did something at the end of the tackle there that uh, Isaac didn't appreciate. But you know what? They're going to give him enough for a first down there, so maybe that will make up for it. The ball spotted officially at the 47-yard line, right on the left-hand hash mark, and it will be enough for a first down. Seven minutes even on the clock left to play. Now they wind the clock again. The clock is ticking, and now they're going to stop it again. And there will be some discussion. Not sure what's going on here. The referee's all coming in and huddling up. Taos is in the backfield in their huddle. Raton's defense is on the line waiting. It's first down and 10 for Taos. Ball spot on the left-hand hash mark at their own 47-yard line. Inside the yellow soccer circle just below the big Tiger logo in the middle of the field. Six minutes, 53 seconds now. Ticking again on the clock. Taos up 33-13. Six minutes left to play in the game. Taos breaks their huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. They'll send two men wide to the right, one to the left. Quarterback is under center. Isaac Gonzalez by himself behind the quarterback. Two split wide to the right. It's going to be a pitch to the wide side again. And it's a reverse. They pitch it around to Lorenzo Rael. He's to the 50. He's to the 40. Going down the sideline. He's got a good block. He's on the sideline to the 20. He's going to got one man to beat. He gets caught from behind to the 10-yard line. The Taos Tiger offense with a little razzle-dazzle there. Something we've not seen this year. They tried an obvious pitch to Isaac Gonzalez. He was the only man in the backfield. They pitched it to the wide side. But remember, there was two men split wide to the right. One of those men came back across the game and as Raton came in and was about to tackle Isaac, actually had him in their hands, he pitched the ball to Lorenzo Rial coming the other way for a reverse. Good all the way down to the 10-yard line and a first down. Just past the 10-yard line, enough to be first 
and goal for the Tigers. Everybody in tight. Two tight ends, three men in the backfield. Hand off to Isaac Gonzalez. He's going to push his way over the right-hand side. Short gain, not down to the five-yard line. Short gain. Of course, they were starting from squarely on the 10-yard line, but the chains aren't up on the far side, so this will bring up second down and goal from about the 8-yard line now. Maybe seven and a half, or it's hard to see from where it's spotted. Essentially in the middle of the field, 5 minutes, 27 seconds, and still ticking. Same formation for Taos, two tight ends, two fullbacks, and one tailback. Quarterback is under center, an extra tight end on the right-hand side. Pitch going to the right side to Isaac Gonzalez. He's got blockers in front, turns it up and gets into the end zone from 8 yards out. Touchdown, Isaac Gonzalez. Touchdown, Taos Tigers. That was an old student body right. They had an extra tight end on the right side and two fullbacks. They had all those bodies going to the right side and just pitched the ball to Isaac. He was patient, waited a little bit on those two fullbacks to get a block, and then split the difference and got into the end zone. Five minutes and 14 seconds on the clock. David Ayala in extra point kick formation, attempting to make the score 40. Here's the snap. The kick is up. It's a low line drive, but it's good. Ayala ends up on the ground, and a flag is thrown. They kind of plowed into him afterwards. I don't think that kick was blocked. It was just a very low, ugly line drive kick, but it was high enough to get over the crossbar, and it is good, according to the officials, as well as a flag for either roughing or running into the kicker. It's 40 to 13 with 5 minutes, 14 to play in the game, and Taos will have a very short kickoff here. A kicker penalty, the ball will be spotted at the 45-yard line in Raton territory in order to kick off. So David Ayala, being uh, the soccer player that he is, can probably put this ball through the crossbars if he wanted to, kicking off from inside Raton territory. Of course, if it goes into the end zone, it comes out to the 20 no matter what. He will boom this one deep, and Raton will just watch this one sail over their heads and land at the back of the end zone. So no chance for a return there. Probably a smart play there by the kicking game for Taos, just making it come out to the 20. No chance for a run back, and Raton will start first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Raton still not huddling. That's not their procedure. They're all looking at their wristbands here, getting signals from the sideline. They've got a coach in a bright chartreuse shirt and a couple other coaches in other colors there, so they kind of get signals and decoy things. Quarterbacks in shotgun formation, two men back with him, two on the left side, one on the right side. They're going to hand off going to the left-hand side. Misses one Taos player, streaking for a first down and gets all the way to about the 33-yard line. Once again, it looked like a Taos player had the opportunity to make a tackle and just whiffed on him as he sped right by him and got first down yardage. So even though Taos' defense has only really given up one touchdown drive and then giving up a long bomb that was sort of a disputed catch, the defense is actually missing quite a few tackles tonight. First and 10 for Raton. They've got three on the right-hand side. Quarterbacks drop back, looking, 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 and they missed the sack. They had him. Now the quarterback's going to keep it. He's to the 40. He's going to run out of bounds just after first down yardage, getting close to his own 43-yard line. There was three or four Taos players in the backfield, got deep in the pocket. They almost got there too fast. They got there so fast that the quarterback took one step and was beyond them, looked, and there was nobody in front of him. So he simply ran for it, got another first down, and got out of bounds, stopping the clock at 445. Ball spotted still in Raton territory between the 43 and 44-yard line on the left-hand hash mark. Raton's got trips to the right. They're going to send two wide receivers to the left. The quarterback's by himself in the backfield. Here's the snap. Straight drop back. Taos doesn't blitz. They throw a ball into the flat. Yeah, hit another missed tackle by Taos. That's Marshall Cummings came up and smacked the player right as he caught the ball, but bounced off. He didn't able to. He wasn't able to actually wrap up and take him down. So the second uh, the second effort on the receiver's part ends up gaining about seven yards on that play. The ball, the nose of the ball, just touching midfield. So Taos had a chance there for no gain on that play, but as it stands, it's about second down and four. Trips to the left on the wide side, one in the backfield with the quarterback. He pump fakes, now goes back to the left. Same screen pass, beats one Taos tackle, flag on the play. Stopped just enough for a first down. Looks like he gets to about the Taos 45-yard line. So again, uh, you know, a relatively short gain, five or six yards, but it's enough for a first down pending the flag on that play. Not a lot of flags tonight. It's actually been a fairly cleanly played game. Of course, there's been a couple kicks out of bounds and some other random flags, but uh, not a heavily penalty game like there was last week in Robertson. This is going to be a holding call against Robertson. Of course, there's a lot of blocking that's involved in that pass play. As you've got three wide receivers on the wide side of the field. Two of those receivers run forward 
both to draw the defense away and to block for them, and then the third one kind of backs up and catches the ball behind him and uses those guys as blockers. Apparently one of them that time got caught for uh, grabbing on a little too much. This is going to push the ball all the way back to the 39-yard line. Remember, the original line of scrimmage was the 50. Now it's second down and about 14. Here's the snap. Quarterback straight, draw back a center screen. Taos is right there, has it hanging on to him. Now breaks out of the Taos tackle. So Taos, again, had that defense. That was number 13. That was Joaquin Medina. Had the receiver by the jersey, and it was kind of a tug-of-war. And finally, the running was actually able to pull out of Joaquin's grasp and actually get a few more yards there. But again, Raton Wisey there from an offensive strategy, taking advantage of Taos's aggressiveness, letting them rush the quarterback, the quarterback backpedaling, letting them come, and then kind of lobbing the ball over their head to a waiting receiver. Third down and about four here now from midfield. Quarterback's got it rolling to his right. Taos is in the backfield. Marshall Cummings is there. He breaks out of the tackle now, lobs the ball deep to a man wide open at the 30-yard line, caught for the first down. Isaac Gonzalez making that tackle. Again, very close to sacking the quarterback. I'm sorry, that was 43. That was Khalil Bilal. Had the quarterback in his hands but couldn't take him down. The quarterback able to launch that ball, just lobbed it over the middle, and it actually found a receiver that made the catch. Tackled pretty much right away, but it is a first down for Raton at the Taos 30. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Two split to the left. Going to throw a swing pass on the left-hand side. Taos is there, and this time Lorenzo Real hits him but doesn't wrap up. I can't see where he knocked him out of bounds on the far side. It looked like Lorenzo hit him hard enough to knock him out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage, but he kept running, so we'll see where they spot the ball. They will spot this ball five yards downfield, maybe even six yards downfield. So again, another poor tackle by Taos allows Raton to get a little extra yardage. It'll be second down and about five yards. The ball sitting squarely on the 25-yard line on the left-hand hash mark in Taos territory. Raton all looking at their wristbands now getting the line of scrimmage trips to the right one to the left one man with the quarterback in front of him on the left straight drop back for the quarterback looking now fires on the right hand side it's caught at about the 12 yard line eludes one tackle breaks two tackles still on his feet He's pushing inside the five, does not get in, but all the way down to the two-yard line. He breaks three different Taos players' tackles, so fantastic effort. That's number 22, Caleb Wood. We've talked about him a lot tonight. He scored the long touchdown in the last quarter, and this time on second and third efforts, all on his part, breaking Taos Tigers and getting inside the five. Two minutes, 51 seconds on the clock. The clock is stopped here. It will be first down and goal for Raton. They're going to switch formations here, go everybody in tight. Offset eye formation, extra tight end on the right side, a wing on the right side. Quarterback is under center. Here's the snap. They're going to hand off just right up the middle. Taos is going to stack that up and stop that. They're not going to go anywhere on that play. It'll bring up second down and goal from the two. Two minutes, 42 seconds, and ticking. Yeah, in an odd sort of way, this is actually an important defensive stand here because one of the things that they look at in terms of the rankings for the playoffs is margin of victory. It's 40 to 13 right now. You want you ideally you wouldn't like to let Raton score again here and cut that margin and just have that factor into it. Everybody in tight here. Again for Raton, an offset eye formation. Their quarterback's under center, an extra man on the right hand. Quarterback keeper, he's going to dive over the left-hand side and get into the end zone for a touchdown. Quarterback sneak, he didn't wait to fake handoff or anything. He stood up and just dove over the left-hand side, literally like diving, got an extra step and walked into the end zone. Touchdown Raton with two minutes and 13 seconds left to play in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Raton's going to set up to go for two here. Same formation for them. They've got five guys to the right of the center. Going to hand off right up the middle. He's going off to the right side. Taos is going to stop that and push him backwards. This will be no good on a two-point conversion to tip for Raton. So two minutes and 13 seconds will remain in the game, and the score will be 40 for Taos and 19 for Raton. So now they've got the official no good signal and they will set up to kick off. We'll be right back in 30 seconds on your new home for Taos Tiger football, 95-9, The Mountain.
Welcome back to your new home for Taos Tiger Football 95-9, The Mountain. Two minutes, 13 seconds left to play in the game. Taos is up 40 to 19 after that two-point conversion attempt was no good. There is now a flag laying on the field. The Raton coach is <laughs> having an animated discussion with the officials, and actually one of the officials is actually pushing another one away and actually walking away from the situation. So something after the fact, after that two-point conversion attempt, didn't set well, and the Raton coach is still upset and pointing over at the Taos sideline, and there's other Raton coaches on the field as well. And uh, <laughs> there's there's a referee that's that's been put in timeout by another referee. He actually had to walk away and stand way away from the discussion. There is a flag on the field, so at some point somebody said something. Now they're going to wave the flag off so the official that was actually pushed away by another official and made to go walk off came back picked up the flag and waved it off and now the Raton coach is walking back to the sideline so um, seems, seems like there might have been an exchange there a uh, conflict of personalities perhaps but uh, that flag is going to get waved off and Taos will be set up to receive this kickoff after the Raton touchdown. Of course, last time Raton went to kickoff, last time they had a score, they did an onside kick, and they executed it, recovering the ball, taking over in Taos territory. Taos able to hold off the Raton offense on that situation, so the onside kick recovery didn't cost Taos, but it's something they've got to be aware of here with 2 minutes and 13 seconds left to play. Taos has got almost everybody pushed up close to the line of scrimmage here. They've got Jonathan Cordova back between the 20 and the 25. He's not the normal return man. Usually it's Isaac Gonzalez and Devin Ortega back there, but uh, lots of low numbers up close. They've got six men, uh, five men right on the front and five men right behind them within five yards of them. So Taos lined up all at the 50, expecting an onside, and here it comes. There's the onside. It doesn't go. It does. It bounces. It's still bouncing around on the ground. Raton jumping up and down again. That ball didn't look like it went 10 yards before it got touched, but Raton jumping up and down saying that they got Got it. Now the official says Taos ball. Raton's not going to like that at all because their whole team was jumping up and down on the sideline saying they had it. Now they've got coaches. Their coaches and players are all the way out at the numbers on the field. Now there's officials saying the other direction. So a little confusion there. One official, as soon as they got off the pile, was signaling Taos ball. Now another official saying Raton ball. Coach Lopez is on the field is calling timeout. I think he wants to have a talk, both with his players and an explanation here from the officials as to what happened there. Where is, where is that yeah, Coach Lopez is all the way out on the orange logo on the field now, and he's wanting an explanation. There was a clear signal from the referee that it was Taos ball, and then they went back and reversed that call after the Raton coaching staff and team was all the way out on the numbers out on the field to argue. Okay. Four different officials out having discussion with Coach Lopez, not nearly as animated as what the Raton coaches had been. The Raton sidelines all fired up. They're jumping up and down. Their coaches on their field very animated. Got their players all psyched up. There's two minutes and seven seconds left in the game. So I'm not sure. Uh, I guess they're just playing for pride here. I don't think they really think that they can score three touchdowns and extra points to tie this game with two minutes left to play, but they can certainly you know, hurt Taos' chances. It's going to be a win for Taos tonight, but the margin of victory is going to come into play into some people's minds and how Taos finishes up the rankings and gets seeded into the playoff situation. So uh, Raton may just be wanting to play spoiler here, but uh, Coach Lopez still out on the field getting a discussion here. Uh, I don't see the, the officials making any kind of reversal of call. Of course, they changed their mind. They said it was Taos ball, and then they went back and changed their mind. Coach Lopez shaking his head as he's coming to the sideline, talking to the rest of his coaches, and the Taos defense will take the field now. So it'll be first and 10 for Raton at the Taos 48-yard line. They'll come to the line of scrimmage. Two men split wide on each side of the field. Shotgun formation, one man back with the quarterback on his left shoulder. Taos' defense doesn't look too fired up. I think I would be upset if I was the Taos defense having to do this again after they thought they had the ball recovered. Here comes a man in motion over to the right-hand side to put three on the right-hand side. He goes forward. That should be a penalty. Taos blitzes the quarterback. They're going to get him and take him down. Ramon Marmol. You don't get away from Ramon when he gets around you. So he gets in the backfield and sacks the quarterback all the way inside Raton territory, all the way back to the 44-yard line. I think that uh, video review of this game is going to show a 
lot of missed motion penalties by Raton because every time that man goes in motion, he kind of does a bunny hop and goes forward. But uh, it's been called once tonight, but not after that. Raton's going to take a timeout, but we're going to stay right here. There's only 1 minute 52 seconds left in the game. Every play a little crucial right here as Raton's trying their last-ditch efforts to try to score again here. And Taos defense, this is almost like having to make a defensive stand, even though the ball is at the 44-yard line in Raton territory. So this will be second down and very long, second down and about 18. And of course, Raton here, they're just, uh, you know, I don't doubt that they'll even try a trick play or do that play where they've, uh, they've thrown the ball very deep a few times, maybe half a dozen times tonight, where it's not really, you know, a design play so much as it is just go down the field, I'm going to throw it as far as I can and hang the ball high up in the air and hope that the height of their receivers versus the height of the Taos defensive backs is enough that they can get a jump ball. Let's see what they try here. They're out of their timeout now. Two men split on each side of the field. Their standard formation. Now Caleb Wood coming across to the near side of the field to put three on the right-hand side. One man back with the quarterback. Taos blitzes. Here comes the quarterback. He does. He heaves the ball deep down the field. Jonathan Cordova's way. Cordova with the interception. Again, Jonathan Cordova intercepting the ball. He's still on his feet. Breaks a tackle. He's to the 30, to the 35, to the 40 on the near sideline, to the 45, to midfield. Now goes back to midfield. Stays on his feet to the 45-yard line. Jonathan Cordova with another interception. Jonathan Cordova, he now gets he now gets a flag. Little uh, Jonathan Cordova got a little too excited there after the interception return all the way to the 45-yard line. He put both his hands over his face mask because he knew what he did and he got a penalty called against him. But uh, there was uh, a lot of emotion going out there again. This is a rivalry game. Taos and Raton have a long-standing rivalry, and there was a lot going on here in the fourth quarter with Raton not being happy. A lot of arguing from their coaching staff. There was some flags thrown. There was some flags waved off. And this time, uh, I think a lot had been said on the field there. Taos finally responding. And unfortunately, Jonathan Cordova, who's played a good game and actually made the interception and a terrific return all the way back into Raton territory after the interceptions there coming off the field, actually turned and waved at the Raton sideline either to say, you know, good night or, uh, you know, thanks for the interception. And the official was there and threw that flag immediately. So that'll take 15 yards off of that terrific return by Jonathan Cordova. But the Taos offense will take over First down and 10, knows the ball just touching the 40-yard line. Taos will go ahead and split one man wide on each side of the field, but not split very far. And uh, I formation with the quarterback under center. <laughs> Clock is at 135. <laughs> Looks like the officials are having a hard time getting their act together. One of the officials was counting off five seconds. The clock wasn't running. One of the officials was uh, waving something. Oh, there was another flag on the field. That's what he's saying. He was, sign he was signaling to pick up the flag. Okay, now quarterbacks under center. Everybody in tight. They will just take a knee. Taos is content here just to run the clock down. They'll take the W here. This will finish a fantastic season. And uh, Danny, what year? 76? 76. So this will be the first time since 1976 that the Taos Tigers football team runs the table in district. Not only a district championship, but an undefeated run through the district. That's right, since 1976. Of course, there was a district championship in 1998, 15 years ago, but not since 1976. Has there been a clean sweep of district for the Taos Tigers football team? One minute now ticking under one minute's play. It's 40 to 19. So the conclusion of this game will be a victory for the Dallas Tigers. They're in victory formation again. Taking the knee is Kevin McCarty, letting the clock run out here. They just got to do it one more time. 47 ticks on the clock here. It'll be third down, but they've only got to twice run. There is, uh, Raton does have one timeout, but it looks like they're going to be content not to prolong the end of this game. 21, 21 point margin here and uh, jumping up and down here in the press box. They've been waiting. There's been Taos players here have been waiting since 1976 to be able to celebrate another clean sweep here. So uh, celebrating from, from alumni here, the fans that are still here. It's very cold here tonight down in the 20s. And that'll do it, the last taking of the knee. And now there's hugs and handshakes. Of course, that was a heated fourth quarter, but lots of people, uh, uh, these kids have played against each other for a long time and have known families for a long time. And uh, lots go on here in northern New Mexico, and there's lots of hugs and stuff on the field now. So I think everything will be okay now. And there goes a ice water bath to Coach Flavio Lopez, and they're grabbing him. 
quite an accomplishment. As the clock hits zero, this is a W for Taos. They will finish the season at 8-1, and one. a remarkable accomplishment for this program that's come so far in the last couple of years under Coach Flavio Lopez and his seniors getting the ice bucket, Gatorade bucket bath as he was on the sideline there. There's ice on the field. Both the teams now shaking hands and exchanging uh, <laughs> exchanging names.